Today, January 21st, 2015, is the first time that we're able to boot Fedora running on our T4240-based Zurich microserver we're building for the Dome project. This is our Revision 1 board. It is larger than the final form factor, uh, but for cost and expense reason, uh, we make a large version first that has all the components on one side. Um, what I'm doing right now is I am going to boot Linux Fedora to show you that this works. In this run window, I basically start this whole process and uh, you see on that screen that uh, Fedora is now starting. Uh, first U-boot starts, then it loads the kernel. Here it is mounting the root file system on our server. And we'll get a login prompt in a minute. Now, while we see this logon, let's go back to this screen here. And what you see is that when we have the uh, Fedora prompt, we are now using uh, at one volt of uh, supply to the T4240 about 16 amps of current. So uh, at the one volt domain is now using about 16 watts, which shows that we really do have a energy efficient server. Now let's see what happens if we start to run more. So on this screen, I will now open an SSH into our microserver. I again log in as root and uh, I am going to start the stream code and I think I have this yep yeah. so here I'm starting stream uh, in a continuous loop and while we wait for this we will go back to the other screen do a login here too. And you see, welcome to the Dome microserver Fedora 20 on T4240. And I will start the HTOP program to see how many threads are busy. There we go. And you see that all 24 threads are now 100% busy on this system. And when we look at the current, we see the current is actually not going up very much. We're still at 15.5 to 16 amps, while all the threads are 100% busy. So it really means we have a very energy efficient server.